all make mistakes. Some are small, some are large. But his mistake, born of innocence, fueled by pride, was the greatest and most terrible of them all. Some believed when the prince journeyed to the island of time to escape death, that he returned alone. The amulet destroyed. The Dahaka appeased. The Empress dead. The prince was free at last. But this is not how it happened. The truth is that he chose to save me from my destiny. In doing so, he set me free. And doomed us all. Prince, of all the possible futures, this one held the most promise, but something has changed. Do not worry, Kailina. No harm will come to you in Babylon. I promise. Look, we are nearly home. As our ship lay sinking in the harbor, the prince found himself in a city quite different from the one he left behind. The normally busy wharves were now decimated. Blood-spattered awnings and splintered door frames were all that waited to greet him. And the people... Please let me know when you're ready to hear more. People, merchants, beggars, fishermen, were nowhere to be found. Others had taken their place. The prince made his way along the torn and blasted district, haunted by visions. Let me know when you have the time to hear more. Time has passed. The dockside tavern where he'd spent many late nights was now reduced to cinders. Babylon's proud armada, which he would often come to greet, lay cracked and broken, cast to the bottom of the Euphrates. Everywhere there are signs of battle. What of Babylon's guard? Where have they all gone?
Should I continue from here when you return? Why is it that every time disaster strikes, I find myself without a proper blade? Still, it's better than nothing. Lena. No! No way into the city now. I will have to climb this siege tower and enter from above. the others who have passed through this place, intent on bringing harm to my family. Four weeks I've been at sea, and every day spent dreaming of my return to Babylon. But never, in all my visions of the future, did I suspect a homecoming such as this. War. It is the only answer. But war with huh. who? resume the tale next time? You should know that it was not love that drove him, but duty. I was his responsibility. He had made a promise, a promise that was now broken and undone. As with all mistakes he had made, the prince meant to fix this. A noble goal to be certain, but a selfish one as well. For he was motivated to ease his own pain. I know these streets. Knew them anyway. 
I must keep pace with Kylina if I am to find the one responsible for this. here if you are called away. Where is kind Asha, who would stand before her stall selling fruits and flowers? Or the errant children, making trouble as all young ones do? Gone. All gone. Is this where I should resume the tale next time? Home. And yet nothing is as I remember. Objects once familiar and comforting now fill me with uncertainty and dread. What has happened here?
should be resting now, recovering from my time away, or sitting with father. Instead, I'm forced to run and hide, sneaking about like a common thief, hunted in my own city. I'm here if you are called away.
attention to what the prince overheard as he drew close to where I was being kept. Is this where I should resume the tale next time? Many years ago, I journeyed with the Maharaja of India to the island of time. Intending to claim its secrets, what we discovered was a barren truth. It's all the curtains, guarding the dark to sand. Strange to the strange walls, which spoke of an empress, an empress of time. But of this enemy, there was no trace. He returned to India with treasure nonetheless. A staff, a dagger, an empty hourglass covered in jewels, and books. Such secrets they contained, for even then I was an older man and knew that my time would soon be at an end. The books showed me that life eternal was not beyond my reach, but it was Promise herself the power of the sand. But you were gone. They were gone. And so I thought. I turned my attention towards other pursuits and left that dream behind. But then... Four weeks ago, the dagger stirred and showed me things. Whispered to me in my sleep, it drew me here. Alas, the Maharaja did not share my vision, would not grant me leave. So I slew him and claimed his kingdom, his army for my own. Nothing would stand between me and my desire. Recklessly, the prince drew his weapon and charged forward, intending to rescue me. It was as if he had learned nothing from his past adventures. Or perhaps he'd simply forgotten, made blind and deaf by fear and rage. This is how it happened. This is how I died. No! Vizier! Ah, you must be the Prince of Persia. Come home at last. Too late, I'm afraid. I believe I have something of yours. Oh, no! Kailina! Give what I have done, wherever you are.
continue my story from here if you are called away. Should I continue from here when you return? Once more, the wheels of suffering are set in motion by my hand. In taking Kylina from the island of time, I have changed the course of history. Without the sands of time, I never journeyed to Azad, never killed the Vizier. Now he lives again, driven by the same mad desire. I promise. Is this where I should resume the tale next no time? No harm would come to her. being pushed deeper into the palace and further from my enemy. My arm! What's happening? What has the Vizier done to me? I don't... Oh! Everything had come full circle. The Prince had resurrected his greatest enemy. Worse, he had accidentally delivered me into the man's hands. Unleashing a nightmare plague across Babylon. As if this was not enough, the prince had nearly been transformed by the sands himself. Though he had avoided death, he had not escaped entirely untouched. Wake up, prince. Wake up. Wake up! The way behind you is gone, so you will have to find another exit from these sewers. Be quick about it. Start moving. What? Who's there? Shall I continue? I will continue my story from here next time.